And here we go. Hello everyone, and welcome to more Content Talk. It's the only show that cuts through all the glam, the glitz, and all the bullshit to bring you the truthiest news that we can find. And boy, do we have some true serum here for you tonight. Um, the Capitol building was stormed. Um, there's no way you haven't at least heard about it unless you've been particularly high all day, in which case, good for you. I have not. Um, I watched it unfold in real time. I was, um, by sheer coincidence, able to uh, find I what I believe. I don't know for sure, but it, it was at least a reporter who was on the ground. But it may have, you know, for all we know, it may have been um, one of the insurrectionists themselves um, tweeting as they were in the process of taking the Capitol building and, and the various buildings that they took. So, and the last I heard, there were still government, um, buildings under attack in the United States. Um, it's not necessarily, you know, no one knows what's going to happen. Who knows what will happen tomorrow? They were able to finally ratify the electoral votes. Um, but man, uh, wow, what a day. Um, as I said, I, the, these, uh, you know, tweets were coming in and they were talking about, oh, the, the Patriots have taken the Capitol. And, you know, I'm thinking to myself, like, what the hell is going on? Cause you know, when it started, it was, um, you know, just a kind of, you were getting small snippets and it looked like the police had it under control. <laughs> because they were kicking some serious ass in the beginning and they really did uh, put up a fight. I believe that was the Capitol Police, which I didn't even know the Capitol had its own police. I was completely uh, unaware of that, but apparently they do. And um, they were they were really uh, kicking ass and taking names in the beginning. So, you, you know, initially I said, oh, well, they're going to, you know, this whole thing's going to peter out pretty soon and it's going to be a similar situation like what you saw in um, the UK when, you know, the Queen was up there standing on the on the balcony watching all the idiot Nazis, fascists getting beat up because, you know, it gets to a point where, and I've, I've said this in prior shows, and I, I had people uh, unfollow me for saying it, and I've had people, um, you know, disagree with me on this, but these are animals. These people are animals. You can't deal with animals, and, and I mean we're all animals. That's the thing. And you, you can't. But once people have decided that they're not even going to recognize basic, you know, social interaction, you know, hit them with the club. I mean, what's the big deal? What are you What are you doing? What did you wait until 7:30 at night? That was when they finally brought out the rubber bullets and the tear gas to disperse these idiots. The the um the curfew was 6:30 or six. So what the fuck were we waiting for? And I'll tell you, it, it makes us look like a bunch of assholes. This is stupid. I mean, it just looks, it looks, it's embarrassing. You know, you had all these um, neoliberal ghouls on, uh, you know, uh, MSNBC and, you know, NBC talking about, well, you know, this happened before in the 1950s and... It's not that irregular. Well, we, we took back the capital. Yeah, you took it back after, like, you know, they went in there and sat in, in your seat and made you look like a dumbass. I told you you couldn't be soft with these people. I said it from the beginning. I told you I had a doctor, and now I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad about saying it anymore. See, like, I'm not like uh, them, you know, the, the parlor and the Proud Boys and all if I, if I say some shit and it's too real and I, it really feels too real and I'm like, you know, people aren't going to be able to handle this right now. I'll cut it out of a show and I've done that because I all my shows are pre-recorded. I don't have – it's just me basically. Um, I don't really have uh, much help. Um, you know, I get I get help when I can. It, that's kind of how you do it when when it's a solo thing. When I when I can get help, I get it. For the most part, it's it's me, um, especially when it comes to the podcast. 
you know, a lot of times Melissa handles the social media accounts, but even that switches. It's not always the same person. So, um, it's a tight ship that we run, and there's only a couple of us, and we do it all ourselves. Uh, we just posted a, another video on YouTube, believe it or not, uh, right before I came out here. And I was saying to myself, you know, I don't know, it's, maybe I shouldn't, but I, I need people to hear this right here. When I went to the doctor, and my doctor told my doctor is from China, and as you know, the death rate is very low in China, and obviously all the people in parlor think it's you know they're just hiding deaths or whatever nonsense. But you know we're living in the real world here, so let's talk real facts. Death rate is very low in China, and um, I had asked him how to, how they did it, and he said if you fuck around in China, they'll beat you up. And he didn't say it just like that. He he took a while. You know, he said it in a very nice, polite way, but I'm summing it up for you. He said, if you, if they pull, if you pull some stupid shit, like that, that dumbass shit, like it would have never gotten to that point in China. That's the point. You, you can't pull shit like that in China. You can't go into the goddamn, I don't even know what they have. What is it? Parliament or I don't know. But you, you will never see some shit like, I mean, if someone did some shit like that, I don't know. I don't know what, what the Chinese government would do, but it would shit would be going down and, and most governments most governments would be like look motherfucker you can't come in here they would have been beating them inside of the goddamn uh house the goddamn said they would have been beating the shit out of them but these motherfuckers these moderates what did they do they got up there and gave some speeches tonight you know, waxing philosophical like we will not stand for this we have taken back the capital <sighs> and then don't get me wrong like i'm glad they got back in there you know and finished it tonight and everything i mean that's the least they could have done what they shouldn't have been doing is bragging about it because before that prior to that they were stuck in their offices looking like a bunch of jackasses because they didn't prepare for this properly all of this could have been prepared for None of the, I've told you from the beginning, this is the most infantile Congress we've ever had. All of them, the whole lot of them, I don't care who you like and who you don't like, up and down, top, side, left, and bottom. These are a bunch of children who are running this government, and they do not know what they're doing, and that is the end of it. I don't care what anyone has to say. I don't care how experienced you think these people are. I'm not just talking about um, uh, Donald Trump. It goes much deeper than that. There are systemic problems in this government. You have children that are too wealthy. They, they're not paying attention to the welfare of people. They're allowing ridiculous things to go on, and everyone should be upset about it. It shouldn't just be, um, you know, uh, I don't know, people on either the right or the left or whatever. I don't even know what we're doing. I don't even know what we're calling ourselves anymore. This is getting so ridiculous. It's just, I can't believe it because I I saw those those kids and those and those old people in the Black Lives Matter protest and you know whoever it may have been Antifa or whatever and they getting shot up and you know what the fuck man those kids get shot up and you know some of them got castrated some of them, I mean some of them, there was there was this one. A young person who shot in the testicles and the testicles got blown off. They can't have kids. There was people who got killed. There were people who were murdered. There were, uh, I, I, and then they get up there and they're talking about, well, this is not America. Mitt, you know, you're looking at the um, the media and they're saying, well, Mitt Romney gave a passionate speech, so everything's fine now. Mitch McConnell was brought to tears, so it's okay. Yeah, they're the reason we're in this mess. They're the reason. The only reason they were able to pass their extreme agendas is because they're down with these motherfuckers. They're not going to say that now because it didn't work. And who knows if, if they even thought it would work. Who knows? You don't know. You don't know. That's the thing is, is, is this brand new unfolding events that just happened today and everyone's already got there. They've decided what's happened. I don't trust these Republicans for one second. I don't trust their theatrics. I don't trust anything they have to say. I saw Sarah Palin come on on, on Twitter talking about don't label all conservatives and all Republicans. 
okay, I won't label all conservatives and all Republicans. I'll label all conservatives, I'll label all Republicans, and I'll label all Christians as a serious threat to this nation. You want to know why? Because they think that they're better than everyone else, and they think they can get away with anything. You saw it today. They put a wooden cross up in front of one of the federal buildings. That is, that is not okay. I don't care what you have to say about it. That is a threat to my life. Christianity is one of the most violent religions ever invented, and I don't care what anyone has to say about it. You put that in front of my government building, it's not okay. It's absolutely not okay because you're going to start crucifying people. I know how crazy Christians can get. You don't you don't research history. I know how crazy they are. That's why they got he he legalized all kinds of killings. Lynn Wood was on on a uh, parlor calling for the death of Mike Pence. This is getting and and they don't, you know, everyone should be appalled. Everyone should be appalled by this. Your government does not have control, folks. It is appalling. It's appalling that it took them that long to ratify the votes. What what was taking so long? Why were there still objections? It's ridiculous that uh, Josh Hawley was allowed to speak as much as he spoke after he specifically lied about uh, Antifa and, and Black Lives Matter abusing his wife and, and him and, and harming uh, them. He completely made up that story, and then, and then he's allowed to go in there and talk and have a say, like he's some sort of sage or something. He's a bullshit artist. He was probably lying the whole time he was in there. Who knows what the fuck he was th going through his head. He's probably thinking, how am I going to spin this? How am I going to blame this on the left? And you already got people on the right online blaming everything. Well, there was Antifa members there and blah, 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 blah. It was nothing but people waving Trump flags. I don't care if they're in Antifa or not. There's the vast majority of people that I saw, all of them had Trump flags. They're all white. They're all just his stupid podunk supporters. So I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Making shit up. All kinds of trolls online. All kinds of... I mean, it's just, it's, it's just fucking dumb. And I'm sick and tired of I'm sick and tired of pretending like this country is just fine because it's not. It's not fine. It's not fine to see that on TV. Yeah, I, I got a kid. I don't want to see that shit. You, I was so mad when I saw that. When I saw those dumb fucks in that fucking Congress. My dad didn't even get to go in that goddamn fucking building. He fucking fought for his country. This is bullshit. And you think you're going to get up there and apologize like that's going to be all right. Nah, motherfucker. Nah, 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 nah. You can't even protect me. What the fuck do I have to... What, what, What is my allegiance to you? You can't even fucking protect me. This is bullshit. You couldn't get a fucking stimulus bill passed that was adequate. Now you can't even, you can't even uh, fend off some, some, some stupid, illiterate, dumb motherfuckers. And you, you, I saw them. They were walking them down the steps. It was disgusting. They were hand in hand, and there were um, there were uh, Capitol Police even that were they were taking pictures with them and letting them in, and they were having a good old time right in the Capitol building. It was one of the dumbest things I've ever seen in my entire life. Absolutely disgraceful. How dare the media get on there and say the situation's under control? It's not under control. show me video of Mitch McConnell crying. He doesn't give a fuck. He's an asshole. He's the reason this all got like this in the first place. He's been working with Trump. Mitt Romney's been working with Trump. They've all been working with Trump. Paul Ryan, all every single last fucking one of them and you're on there talking about, "Okay, they're good guys now." You know what, Alphabet Soup Media, you can go fuck yourself too. Stop lying. Stop making shit up. It's not all good. COVID's not just going to go away. It's lies. Just all you do is lie all the time. And you got the audacity to complain when other media networks do it. Well, you do it too. This is not America. That's all I see in the media right now. This is not America. This is not America. Let's all hold hands again. You stupid
any any president any president not president leader whatever whatever would have been calling for the military some and it wouldn't have taken that goddamn long and you know it you're all a disgrace for allowing this to go on for being for being complicit you're all complicit in it you all worked for the government it, you, you know goddamn well that's why you're on TV apologizing we gotta pay for the fucking damage to the fucking capitol building our tax dollars go to keep up that building and the upkeep on that building I'm pissed you goddamn right I'm mad everyone on uh on Twitter was like, well, if they had been black, if they had been black, they would be dead. If they had been black, they wouldn't have made it into the Capitol building, and you know it. They would have never fucking made it. They would have been shot gangland style, and there would have been, there would have been a million National Guardsmen there. And, and MSNBC would have been on the news talking about, look at these thugs. Look at these black thugs and how they came into, the, into Washington and fuck all of them. And I hope those niggers die. That's what would have happened. And most of America would have said the same goddamn thing too. Because you like watching this shit. That's why you won't ever talk. That's why you won't, all you ever talk about is peace. Oh, fuck fuck that shit. Bipartisan and all this bullshit. Fuck this bipartisan shit. You're a Republican. You bet you better keep on walking. Don't talk to me. This is some bullshit. This is bullshit at the highest degree. I don't want to hear one goddamn Christian, one goddamn conservative, one goddamn Republican. Don't you dare try to act like you weren't complicit in this bullshit. You know goddamn well when you're getting up there and you're talking about God and you're talking about the power of Christ and you're talking about this is our anointed savior when you're pointing to Donald Trump. You know goddamn well that you were right there. You were hoping that this would happen. You hoped and you you wanted you wanted to go into the White House. You wanted to, to, to rule over people. That's what you wanted. That's why they had that cross out there. They were trying to crucify people. I'm telling you. You better be lucky, Mike Pence. You know. I don't know. And I don't even know. Who knows? You don't know. What the fuck is going on that this even was allowed to happen? This is so ridiculous. And they've been planning it all for weeks. They planned it openly. Openly on, on their uh, right-wing networks. They planned it. I saw, I saw the proof. <sighs> you gotta be kidding me, right? You, there's no way that you're sitting there listening right now thinking, well, you know, Christopher, you're just overreacting. Jeez. What do you do at your house every night? You know, you just you just go around like terrorizing your neighborhood in your spare time. Go to Arby's afterwards. That's what happened tonight. People fucking went and tr and and uh, overthrew the government, and then they w and then they went and got a scone afterwards, and some fucking uh you know uh, cheese filled hot dogs. This is bullshit. With the National Guard, it was a disgrace. Four people ended up dead. Three of them was because of unrelated chronic illness. Probably had a heart attack. Too many cheese dogs. Fuck them. Absolute bullshit. One of them was that woman. She was from San Diego, California. Can you, can you believe that shit? I saw that. I said, God damn it. I told you there's crazy people in California. I tell people that on Twitter all the time. No one will believe you. That's the beauty of California. You can be as crazy as you want. No one will believe it. Oh, no. There's no such thing as crazy in California. It's California. Everything's fine in California. Yeah, that's what people fucking say. It's not, though. And so this crazy lady 
She had a gun holster. She was trying to climb in. She climbed. She tried to climb her stupid ass in the window to attack senators. Yes, she did. Congress people, I don't know who exactly it was, but the the bodyguard of the Congress people, they saw the police wasn't doing nothing, and they pop 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 shot her ass, and she's dead. And and you know what? That's what you get. Don't fuck around. Stop fucking around. You're not you're not Superman. All right. The fuck you. What did you think was gonna happen? What did you think was gonna happen? That that is preposterous. That should never have been allowed. I guarantee you, she's a conspiracy theorist. Guaranteed. Too much, man. Woman person. <coughs> I got smoked tonight because. <coughs> <coughs> you know, <coughs> she got real. <sighs> anyway, what else can you say? The government sucks. They really do. They really just don't come through for you when you need them. It pains me to think of the number of uh, black people who've fallen in these Black Lives Matter protests. and Just in general, it really does. I feel, I, you know, and I don't know. Maybe it's not pain anymore. Maybe it's just emptiness. Maybe it's a void. I felt that tonight when I was lying down. I just felt this void. It's like, you know help isn't coming, but you're stuck, and you can't really do anything about it, except, uh, you know, <laughs> make a podcast <laughs> that maybe people will listen to, who knows, and even if they don't, well, shit, I mean, at least it got made. Well, America, I don't know what to say anymore. What we don't need to do is go back to this uh, nonsense, you know, these Republicans out here right, right now acting like they care about you. They don't care about you, okay? I'll tell you that 100% of the way. These Republicans have so fucked us. Remember, there's still this COVID thing. So the pe the number of people who died today, there's four people and these 52 who got injured. That's that's nothing compared to how many people are gonna die. No, nah. and they don't care, right? And I told you from the beginning, those people don't care. They don't care about themselves and they don't care about others. But all you and and I knew, you know, you know how I knew that we would be in lockdown for at least two years and and most likely more and not lockdown but that covid would be with us and that we'd be going in and out of lockdown year after year after year the reason i knew was because of kanye west and i know what you're saying that doesn't make any sense christopher why don't you leave kanye west alone because he's a metaphor he represents something that people are missing it's not just about my dislike of him. It goes beyond that. I used to be Kanye West. Yes, 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 I'm poor. But I'm talking about the person who Kanye West is. He had a loved one who died. It was his mother in this instance. This was everything to this man. He lost it. He already wasn't well prior to that. Already. And then that happened. And you know what? He thinks it's his fault. 
I'm not entirely convinced. I think you can make an argument, but I think it would be a bad one. I think you'd be kind of a dick to make that argument. There's no need to go into the details either. It's just not necessary. You can look it up. Google it. It's a sad story. I lost a loved one too. I know. I know what it's like. I I know when you're when you're grieving and you would be surprised how long grief grief could last. Most people don't know unless you've lost someone very, 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 very close. I mean, they have. It's not just a relative. It's not just oh, that was my you know my my uncle passed away who you know, I I knew briefly. Nah, someone really close. That will drive you crazy. You'll lose it. You don't have to have a mental disorder already. It could give you one or. You know, maybe you had one already and it triggered it. That's what's more likely. Because that's the thing is that most people, sometimes they already have the, the, the chemistry for the mental disorder. And then it takes a trigger, right? So this happened to him. And he spun out of control. His political ideology changed. He gets mixed in with these, uh, you know, all kinds of various groups, but eventually very extreme Christians like Donald Trump, right? And now his wife is leaving him. That's a metaphor. Do you know that I predicted, I did, if you look it up on YouTube, you'll find it. It's it's it would be difficult to find, but it's uh it's on Joe Rogan experience. It's in the comment section. And I'm I'm pretty certain um I don't think it was Joe Rogan for one second because I don't think Joe Rogan is on YouTube. I think he's probably hanging out with his, you know, whoever like doing pot and whatever he does. But I was talking to one of the moderators on the site, and I said, you know, having Kanye West on, you know, that's kind of stupid because he's not really much to live up to. And they said, oh, you know, this guy's a, a billionaire. What have you done with your life? And I said, I have a family who respects me. I have a reputation that speaks for itself I have thousands of scars from thousands of seizures that I got up and 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 I uh, went to work the next day or did whatever the next took care of my kid I have a lot I, I have um, a catalog of writing that perhaps no one would ever see and you know what good it's too good for them to see listen to me America this America that has rejected me time and time again and people like me time and time again we don't want you anymore we don't need you anymore If you're going to continue to ignore us and act like we don't exist, you don't have to be afraid of us coming for you like these zealots that you like to align yourselves with. I'll just, we'll just stop working at your jobs. How about that? How about we don't go back to work? Not like we have a choice anyway. You're already lying to us and telling us it's safe when it's not. That would do far more damage than this circus you saw today. And you know what, America? You deserve it. Because you got too fucking selfish. And, you know, $600? Shit. You should have saw it coming. You should have saw it coming. That is some grade A bullshit. And now you want to get up there and talk about democracy. Y'all don't know what democracy is. You let people starve to death for 10 months. 
Let's stop pussyfooting around the subject. Then you cut their unemployment. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Thank you for listening to more Content Talk. This was a very special episode. Um, if you'd like to, you can follow me on Twitter at more underscore content PLS. You could also find me on YouTube at more content please MCP and TikTok more content please MCP as well as Instagram at more content please. You can also find us at morecontentplease.org. If you'd like to, you could sponsor us so we can continue to bring you this news. Uh, we are in the process of establishing ourselves as a content news network. So please uh, watch, like, subscribe, whatever you have to do, anything you can, anywhere to get the word out about more content, please do it. Um, if you can donate, by all means, sponsor us. I completely understand if you can't. Thank you for listening. If you can't donate, listen twice, maybe even three times. All right. Have a wonderful night.